Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Go. I'm going to get straight to it. I'm in England and I have the game early because I use the APK and there is a link in the description if you want to see how to get that. There are rumours that you can get banned for doing it though, so mm, do it at your own risk. But basically, if you do want to wait until the launch, what I'm going to do today in this episode is go over some of the basics of the game. So as soon as it launches, you know exactly what to do, how it works, how to tackle gyms, level up, catch Pokemon, and incubate eggs. And we're going to go through that right now in this video. Right, okay, so the first thing we do is we load up the app and uh, you go through the process of finding your own Pokemon. But as soon as you've done that, you're out in the world, uh, it tells you about the Pokestops, which are right here. But what it doesn't tell you about are a couple of things. Firstly, the gyms. There's one over there that's got, I think that's like a, an Alakazam. No, it's not an Alakazam. It's a, like a, an Evolved Drowsy, I think, on that gym. And it's blue. Got like a blue color around it. And then over there is a Clefairy for the yellow gym over there. And we're going to go over to one of those gyms later. But first, I want to go over consumables. Now, first up, this down in the bottom right tells you what kind of Pokemon are nearby and you can walk around your area and see if you can hunt some of these down. This is pretty useful because if you see something you really want, you know it's nearby and you can find it with perseverance. Also, you have the Pokeball button. It gives you the Pokedex, which is just where you see all of the Pokemon. Now, we can see by this that there's only the original 150 Pokemon in this game. So there's none of the new ones from the games after the first one, which is pretty cool because I don't know if you're a purist like me, but I like to think the, the first 150 Pokemon are the only real Pokemon. If you check out the shop, there is a pay to win option. You can go to the bottom here and buy Poke Coins for real money. And then you can use those Poke Coins to buy a bag upgrade for more space, storage upgrade to store more Pokemon, lure modules that make Pokemon spawn around Pokestops and that applies to all of your friends. So if you have a bunch of friends with you with phones and you go to a Pokestop, you can use a lure module on it and be a hero and all your friends can catch much more Pokemon around it. An egg incubator that incubates eggs. I'm not quite sure how you get eggs, but I think, I don't know, but I happen to have some. And I'm not sure if it's a Pokestop drop or if it's uh, something that Pokemon create that you will have. Now these are lucky eggs. These are very different. These give you twice the XP for 30 minutes. Incense, and I'll buy some incense because it's pretty cool. And this is what I used in the last video. This lures wild Pokemon to you for 30 minutes. And basically this massively increases the amount of Pokemon that you find out in the world. And of course, Pokeballs, but I've really not felt the need to buy any Pokeballs because I've got so many Pokestops near me. And to use the items, you just go to the items section here and you can use any one of these. You can see incense, you can pop that. A lucky egg, you can pop that. A revive, which can bring back a fainted Pokemon. And a potion, which can repair his wounds. There's also the camera, which is basically just taking screenshots. And I think you do get an egg incubator by default without having to buy one. Here's the Pokemon as well. This shows you all the Pokemon you've caught and their state. CP is combat power. So the higher the better. Oh, well, I've got 155 Drowsy there. I caught a side up this morning. Epic find. Got a 99 Ghastly. Can't wait to evolve him into Gengar. Got a Sea King as well, one of my favorite Pokemon. And oh, look at the power behind that Kingler. 74, massive claw. But that's about it. It's not, it's not a very impressive lineup just yet. But over here, what do we have here? Well, this is where the eggs are kept. And uh, hang on a sec, let me go back and buy an incubator so I can show you exactly how that works. So if you swipe to the right, you can see a bunch of eggs here. And eggs have different kilometer values. As you can see, I've only walked 0.2 kilometers today because I incubated these this morning from my house. Walk to hatch this egg and we have to walk two kilometers. So I'm gonna head to a gym today, maybe two, and try and walk two kilometers in the process and see if we can hatch one of these eggs. Yeah, some of them are five kilometers and some of them are two kilometers, but I can't wait to see what happens when these eggs do hatch. Now you can no hold no more than nine eggs at a time, and I have no idea what's gonna come out of these. Is it gonna be items? Is it gonna be Pokemon? I have no idea, I can't wait to find out though. So let's get out and I can show you the final piece of the puzzle, and that is gyms. Now we're gonna hit, um, hit the gym in the park first with the Clefairy. I went there with Duncan yesterday, the game was uh, the game was bugging out a bit, so uh, we lost connectivity and we couldn't do the gym. But I'm feeling spry today, feeling feeling on top of my game. Let's head out there and confront this guy. Now, this is held by Eddie B. 94, and if you go around the gyms in Bristol, this guy's a real mean machine. He owns pretty much all of the gyms that me and Duncan 
took a look at yesterday. He's a bit of like a, a bit of like a. He's the Gary. He's the Gary. Gary Oak to our Ash Ketchum. So let's head out without further ado to this yellow gym and see if we can conquer it. Now, what I'm also going to do before the journey begins is uh, load up an incense. Hey. Oh shit. It's time to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, luckily we survived that encounter. Let's pop a lucky egg for a little bit of extra XP. There we go, as you can see, 30 minutes. Now this decays whether you've got the app open or not, so don't waste it by not catching stuff or exploring while this is engaged. And also, let's pop an incense. It's time to do <laughs> 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 All right, let's go. Let's hit the gym. Okay, looks like we're in room. We're in range. We're in range of the gym. Let's pop this motherfucker. See what happens. Oh my god, a level 234 fairy. Okay, let's do battle. Oh my god, a, a, an honestly shocking defeat at the hands of the hero of that gym over there. That I think that spire is the gym. That's the gym. Holy crap. Let's see if we can tackle the gym in the park and do any better. I know the gym was around here somewhere. Here we go, this looks like the scene of the crime. We meet again, Eddie B. He's got a, a combat point 82 Clefairy guarding this, which is pretty low compared to some of the dudes I've got on my team. It had better be good, one day it will, one day it will. So this is what passes for a gym around Bristol. We're gonna see what we can do. Now there are three teams. The first time you, att you attack a gym, you get asked which team you wanna join. There's a yellow one, a blue one, Mystic, which Duncan's part of, and a red one, which is my gym. Now when you go into battle, this is the only, this is the only instance of battles I've seen so far. You don't see other players walking around in the world, which is a bit of a shame because that'd be really cool if you could walk around and duel people. But um, the standard type weaknesses follow when doing gym battles. So use fire against grass Pokemon, etc., etc. So we're gonna take on Eddie B for the crown of this gym. It's gonna be ours. Okay, now I think you just tap Clefairy to do damage. And we're doing much more damage than he's doing. So this is gonna be open and shut. Oh, Eddie B, you're going down. Oh my God, that's it. I won. Gym level one. Pokemon defeated one. Gym prestige, minus 2,000, what? Here we go, do we add our insignia? All oh, right, now we can leave a Pokemon here to fend off any would-be assailants to this gym. Now I have a feeling Duncan might come here and try and take the crown. So we're gonna leave something badass to fend him off. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna drop my 114 Cubone here. Does that work? Are you sure you want to assign Cubone to the gym? It won't be returned to your collection until it's been kicked out of the gym. Oh no then. Well tell you what, the other guy left two Pokemon at the other gym. So maybe we could maybe we could leave two. Let's try putting a Cubone and see if we can get another slot. That's it! Oh look at that! There's a, there's a jinx! Where is she? Wait, where's the jinx? No, oh, you're mine. Nice! Oh she's free! She's gone! Shit. All right, well that's been a look at gyms. Now let's look at leveling up Pokemon. Now you can evolve them, but the system's a bit weird. And I'll show you exactly how it works. So to show you guys how it works, let's take my highest level Pidgey and try and evolve him 
into a Pidgeotto. So I've got lots and lots of Stardust here, 4,400, and I think you get Stardust just from catching Pokemon. Roughly about 100 per Pokemon, and I've got Pidgey Candy, which you get from, I think, catching Pidgeys. Now we can power him up to give him extra health, or we can evolve him for 12 Pidgey Candy. So let's try evolving him. Do you want to evolve Pidgey? Yes, I do! Oh, here it goes. The lag is real. Oh, oh look at him now. What a badass. Now, it looks like you still use Pidgey Candy to evolve him. I'm not sure if there's another evolved form to Pidgeotto. I think Pidgeot. I think there is. Yeah, I think there is another evolved form to Pidgeotto, the third form. Um, but we need Pidgey Candy to get there. We've only got 10 at the moment, so we need 40 more. Now, you can also power somebody up, but I'm not going to power up Pidgeotto because he sucks. I'm going to power up. Where's my Raticate? Because that guy's a badass. Look at that guy. CP204. So we can power him up for 600 Stardust and one Rattata candy. And you can see, this is whereabouts in Bristol, you can find him. That's pretty cool. Do you want to power him up? Yes, I do. Here it goes. And so this is giving him plus two HP. And as you can see, his combat power has also increased to 223. All right, well, let's check on our eggs. How far have I walked? Uh, I still have to walk 1.2 kilometers to unlock some of these eggs. So I'm gonna get back on my feet, hit the streets, and see if I can hatch some of these eggs. Hold up, hold up, what's going on here? Looks like we have somebody's come to take on the gym leader. I noticed the gym go from yellow to red. I had to <laughs> oh, no! Come and get it! It's my gym, bitch! You're welcome to try! Welcome to try, okay, what we got? A Q-bone. 114 Q-bone. Yeah. How does a 200 drowsy sound? 200, I wanted to leave my 220 rat cape, but it wouldn't let me. Okay. Wouldn't let me. Happens. Well, it's on, bitch. I want to see how you do. Here we go. It's on. So it's like you, you tap fast to do a regular strike, don't you? And then I think when one of those bars fills up, you can then do like a special if you hold down. I couldn't get any specials off. Oh, mate, look at that. Are you wrecking him? It's for Team Blue! No! no I've got to take it back. I've got to take it back right now. I'm taking it back. Wait, wait, I need to drop somebody in there. No, 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 How do I deposit a Pokemon? Oh, wait, it's bottom left. Screw you, Shin. Screw you. Yes, it's red! It's red! Are you serious? I got it! No. Surely not. All right, I'm going to see how you... I think you'll probably take it. That was just like a low-level Zubat. Are just going to, like, stand here until... No. I've got eggs to hatch, so I'm going to take a walk, see if I can walk off some of those. So Martin took the gym, and there was not much I could do about it while he was there. But I did want to kind of walk off and hatch the eggs. On my travels, I ran across some pretty sweet Pokemon. Uh, but then I kind of took a loop of Bristol and came back towards the gym to re-challenge Martin to reclaim my rightful place as owner of this gym, the closest gym to the office. And hey, look at this. So when the egg hatches, you get a Pokemon inside. Now, the more kilometers you have to walk to hatch an egg, the better the Pokemon inside. And check it out, I got a Rattata and a Charmander. It's pretty cool. Then it was time to tackle Martin's Pokemon that he'd left at the gym, and it was a tough battle. And I haven't quite worked out how you use special abilities yet, what you have to tap in order to unlock them, but it's not that obvious. But after I'd won, to secure my victory, I made sure to level up my Raticate to the max. I, I leveled him up to almost 300 combat points, and then I left him there. So. Good luck bringing down Raticate, Martin. Anyway, that was it. Basically, I headed home with, uh, with a successful victory in my hands. And until next time, take care.